All right, today I wanted to share with you a little bit about Vimeo, how to upload, how to do some basic SEO and optimization. So let's go ahead and dive in. What you want to do first is um, you want to go ahead and upload a video. I'm going to go ahead and upload a new folder, upload. Now, I suggest you connect your Dropbox account to your Vimeo account. If you have a Dropbox account, if you don't, uh, it's okay, but there are more ways you can upload. It actually goes way quicker. So if you have Google Drive, you can do it actually through that as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and just do a Dropbox just because it's easy for me. And I'm going to go to a specific um, folder or rather project that I'd like to upload. And now you can upload. Now this is being uploaded currently. It's on. It's with Dropbox, so it's a lot quicker. I'm gonna actually go ahead and change this from public to private. Now you can do password as well, just so you can you know, send it to somebody and it's all protected till you get final approval. At least that's what we do with our clients because we gotta get approval. Um, so we can, you can actually select a password there and then go ahead and, and um, have at it, right? Now I'm gonna just go ahead and hit private since um, you know, I'm not sending it to anybody right now. And uh, you want to actually have a title and a description, okay? Now for these these videos that we have, we have a few that um, that are part of this showcase. So I'm just going to go up there and actually um, oops, not that one. go ahead and continue with the same pattern. So anytime you have a you know similar videos, you can kind of put them into a um, a showcase okay this is considered a showcase you're getting a glimpse of what a showcase is basically it's it's kind of like a playlist if you have songs uh, on Spotify or YouTube you can actually put it on a playlist showcases are pretty much like a playlist you can do a, a variety of things with them they look really clean actually you can actually do a couple different things uh, create a custom URL I'm just gonna show you real quick this looks really cool you know, so if you wanted to send somebody, a client, a portfolio, this is a very nice, clean look. Um, so there's an option for you. Now, we're not going to jump into that, but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what you can do with showcases. Okay, we can probably do showcases like another tutorial on that, but um, give you a little glimpse into that life. Okay, so agent stories is what I'm going to look at. And then um, I'm going to select one here. Now this is a kind of the the pattern that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to template and just go ahead and change that. I know it's not a trailer. Oop. There we go. It's not a trailer. And leave that out. And then I'm going to actually change that, obviously. And then this is going to be different. Uh, we're, not going to, we're going to leave that blank for now. And she is with the same company, so we're going to leave that there. And then we like to include, you know, some of our copyright claims. And then I'll include some of uh, some of the the video in here in, in text. I highly recommend that. You do want to include your HTTP and then your website. That's going to give you some. Um, some good analytics or not analytics, but rather some SEO, some basic SEOs. You want to have your, your, your website address on there. And there you go. That's it. Now, what I would do from that point on is go ahead and just hit advance. Okay. Once this takes you advance, you're going to see the back end of this video. Now you're going to see a URL that you can actually customize. We'll get to later. Now the way I, I go down, I just go top to bottom. So we already made that title. I do have some, some, uh, you know, our, our website, I can include some descriptive stuff. Uh, we do have a script, so I'll probably just go ahead and add that script. All right. So now we want to go ahead and upload a custom thumbnail. I recommend you check out our Canva tutorial where you can, you know, where you can watch as I create a custom thumbnail. You can start super simple and then work your way up. Uh, you or your your team, whoever's doing it for you. Basically, we're going to go ahead and upload a thumbnail. 
I have one selected here. Uh, we create a couple options for the client. I like these two the most. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one here. Obviously we can change it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save just to have. Now here's another way that you can create some extra content for your posts. You can create a GIF, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and just show you. I have another tutorial for this, but you can basically go up to six seconds in length for this. Um, and it'll create a custom GIF for you. And then you can select a high resolution or low resolution, high resolution for social media, low resolution for emails. Super cool. You can actually, you know, uh, use that on social media as well. So anyway, that's one way to do it. Check out our tutorial. Uh, and then obviously this is private for now, but we're not going to change that. And then this could go in a showcase. And for me, it does go to showcase. It goes into my agent stories. I'm going to go ahead and save for now. Okay. That looks good. Um, let me make sure there's nothing else. People can download. You don't want to let people download. At least I don't. And then um, that looks about right. Then we want to go ahead. Th these are just, you know, sub sections. All right. We already, we already hit all those points. Now we want to move to collaboration. If you had a team member you wanted to collab collaborate with, you can actually kind of um, work with them on that. I would just avoid that for now. Now you want to do uh, embed. Now, if you want to embed it and in do it in a custom way, then you can actually do that with um, some of these settings here. All right. Um, Go ahead and you can actually email it to somebody. Um, but yeah, you can actually create presets too. So once you have like a template that you like, so if you don't want the title on there, if you don't want, um, you know, the play button or anything like that, you can actually customize that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, basically that's the, let me see here. Here's another way you can do it. Here's the embed code. All right. And you can actually just change that out. Um, let me see. I think that's pretty much it for that. Um, you can, have, you can kind of overlook that for now, unless you want to dive in, but that's just, you can prompt your read, your listeners, your watch, your viewers, you know, like, uh, with, with, um, you know, different promptings like, oh, don't forget to subscribe and all that other stuff. Now distribution. Now distribution is great because, um, you know, you can actually syndicate to multiple, multiple social media channels. Okay. You can do Facebook, you can do YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Pinterest and Spotify. And actually once you upload it here, you can literally just share it to all these other sites once you've linked them up. Now LinkedIn, you have to have a, a page, not a profile. So let's say it's, it's me, David. I have a profile, but then I also have a video sales real estate page. It'll only syndicate to the page. Um, I want it to go there, so it's up to you. And then you can upload natively to your profile if you like, but it's a, definitely a time saver. Tags, I would definitely do tags. Um, I have a set of tags, a specific um, set of tags that I use, and I'll, in, I'll include them here. So for example, let me pull that up here real quick. I have a, I have a copy and paste, so it's basically just a specific, um, it's a list of words or phrases that I, that I'm, you know, looking to be found under. So like real estate videos, best real estate videos, so on. I'll add that. And then there we go. We have, um, our tags in there, just like you do for YouTube and whatnot. All right. So we have the final piece here. Uh, we're going to try to create a custom custom URL. I want to create that is specific for this project. So I'm going to put her name here. You can name it whatever you'd like uh, for you. If you have a project, if it's for a property or a campaign, or if it's an educational video about, I don't know, escrow or uh, financing, what have you, you can actually create a custom URL right there. Okay. And you want to always hit save. Now you have your optimized video. Okay. And 
be sure to check out our showcase tutorial. That way you can create your own showcases for your business. Thanks for watching and we look forward to connecting with you soon.